<clears throat> how y'all doing out there again this is sister conscious with a part two this evening i'm gonna discuss about the armor of god the full armor of god uh, that's like getting getting you uh prepared for war getting you prepared for war out here with the evil one true Christian of God, true follower of Christ, you ready to go to war, this is what you're going to have, have to have with you, the armor of God, Ephesians, Ephesians 6, 10 through 17, finally, be strong in the Lord, and in his mighty power put on the full armor of God not some of it not parts of it but put on the full armor of God it's head to toe so that you can take your stand Shrap Kodesh I'm a Hulk Kazayu. Welcome. Got this. Excuse me. Uh, I'm a little uh, woozy under the weather. And no, it's not no COVID. <laughs> let's let's get that out the way. We're not going out this morning with that. You know, so just that way. I like to always try to come with an open mission and a closing. Hallelujah. Baruch Atah Adonai Elohanu Malakai Hamua Yeshua Natan Lanu Et Deri A Yeshua The Mashiach Yeshua Quote of Shane Ministries Akhok Keziah speaking Happy Shabbat September 26, 2020 I would like to start off with a prayer for the Sabbat. Bear with me because I don't know about heart, so I'm in a beginner stage with this prayer. So I will uh, someday learn about heart, and this is how we're going to do this. So bear with me. In the name of Yahshua. Dear Odona, help me to make every Shabbat day about you. Quiet my heart. Give me rest to my soul and refocus my spirit. For true renewal comes only from you. Holy Spirit, please help me. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Sister Conscious coming at you. gonna be a little different this time you know just giving y'all an update on um how everything is going with me so far and i want to man sure because i'm so happy right about now with god's grace and his mercy on this spiritual journey that i'm still in the midst of I'm coming to share about some things that i've learned for the first few weeks of this journey and uh that major step that I had uh, made early this, well, at the beginning of this month, the big faith I had to step out on physically with uh, leaving work due to this devil scheme that's going on in this world today. Uh, so the Ralph Kodish, your girl of Hulk Kazaya. Um, Happy Sabbath. I was just, you know, thinking about some things over the week and coming across some some news that was like kind of crazy, you know. But the one thing that came to my mind 
to speak about today is the circumstances of R. Kelly. You know, many have overlooked reasons of his brother may be going through what he's going through. I'm not God, you know, but I can say that I can I can see what he's going through. The convictions this brother is going through, I can understand. You know, in other words, what's going on out there, y'all? Sister Kaziah, Hope, Oko Kaziah, out here, have been making any videos for a while, been stressed out, trying to keep the faith. Uh, my faith is like on low right now, and I'm trying, trying my best to keep it up, but. I think I'm finna uh, end up losing my apartment. I'm gonna end up losing my car. Cause I already uh, left my job in May for God. Left my job. And things was was uh, was going well financially. So I guess he decided to put me through conviction or a trial, test of faith. I have to continue to rejoice, but yeah, that's what's going on with me. I haven't been on the tool for a minute because I've been, I've been without. Uh, it's been 15 days, I think 15 days without food. And I've had a little fruit. I've, I was hospitalized. So I was asking somebody uh, a question about what do a word mean, and they they didn't know what it mean. They was trying to figure it out. I asked somebody what is what do this word mean, and they were like, "What do that mean?" I'm like, "Yeah." They was like, "So if, if you know what the word mean, you would just come out and say it." But they were thinking on what they could assume the word mean or give their opinion on what they hope or whatever. They were thinking on what they assume the word mean. <laughs> and so I was like, see, see what you're doing? You, you're, you're assuming, you're thinking on what the word may mean by you just not coming out saying what it means because you don't know. And it's okay if you don't know what a word means, it's okay. Learn, learn what the word is. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to, don't, if you don't know, don't try to figure it out on your own because. Okay, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. It's Kaziah Hukadashi representing the Nazarite lifestyle. This is my second channel. The first channel is set apart to serve. You can still look into that channel even though once in a while I may throw a commercial uh, video out there just to keep people posted with the channel. But my official channel now is the Nazarite lifestyle. Uh, right now I'm working on a video then I'm finna post on the Nazarite Lifestyle channel right now is in, uh, it's in exporting mode right now. Developing it up so it can be finalized so I can put it on the channel. I just finished it like maybe 10 minutes ago. And it's called The Truth About Your Calling. The Truth About Your Calling. Uh, I have to say, you know... A lot of people think that they're called, first you're called, then you're chosen. 
<clears throat> I don't want to go off into how all this is about, whatever. But when you are truly called by God, you will know it. You may not know it right then and there because it's going to be some things going on in your life that you may be kind of confused about because he's drawing you out of your old circumstances of, of the satanic lifestyle. You know, you got people out there who say, well, I, I don't do evil. I don't do bad. I'm not living a satanic lifestyle. If you're not living a godly character, you're in a satanic world. You're living for Satan. So don't get it twisted. Ezekiel 2. We're going to speak of Ezekiel chapter 2. The title of it is Ezekiel's Call to Be a Prophet. Verse 1. He said to me, Son of man, stand up on your feet and I will speak to you. Verse 2. As he spoke, the Spirit came into me and raised me to my feet. And I heard him speaking to me. He said, verse 3, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have been in revolt against me to this very day. To this very day. Verse 4. The people to whom I am sending you are obstinate and stubborn. Say to them, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Verse 4. The people to whom I am sending you are obstinate and stubborn. Say to them, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Verse 5. And whether they listen or fail to listen, for they are a rebellious people, they will know that a prophet has been among them. Okay, I just want to let you all know that the meaning of being judged, the meaning of being judged to become part of God's kingdom. People are getting it twisted. There would not be a long line with books being opening and each person is being judged right then at the great white throne. Specifically, being judged on whether they uh, qualified to become part of the kingdom and, and being reminded at that moment at the, at the great white throne what they done and and they're going to be going to hell or they're going to go to the right and go to heaven and then next person step up <laughs> and the book's going to be open and they're going to be telling them yeah you did this and you did that no that's not how that's going to be that's not how that's going to be being